make sure to watch this video because I'm going to be saving you guys so much money. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Miska Jahan and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how to thrift store shop for modest fashion online. Now it has been over three years since I've been a hijabi, since I decided to dress more modestly and um, I've learned so many things along the way. I was always a fan of thrift store shopping even before I was a hijabi so whenever I started to wear the hijab I already had an idea of how to shop at thrift stores and um, I've learned so much information along the way and it's gonna be really exciting to share with you guys because I know it's gonna help a lot of you who are on a budget especially for those of you who are like transitioning to wearing hijab I know that that whole process takes a while if you want a video on how to transition from non hijabi to hijabi wardrobe make sure to leave a comment down below and inshallah I will get to that so yes so obviously if you're thrift store shopping you're kind of wanting to save money it's a little bit better for the environment there's like a bunch of win-win situations over here right but if you're online shopping you can't really tell how it's gonna sit on the body so there is sort of a guessing game almost involved and actually a lot of stores a lot of online thrift stores have various return policies some of them have a no return policy some of them say like you can only return something after you you only have like a short time period to return things like after five days seven days whatever so you just want to make sure that you're as educated as possible before you thrift store shop online and I'm gonna help you guys out so yes okay so the first tip I want to share with you guys is to know your measurements I already mentioned this in a previous video on how to shop for modest fashion online and this works for the situation as well you want to know your measurements you want to know your bust your waist how wide your shoulders are your hips you want to know all these measurements because you need to have them on hand when you're shopping online especially for thrift store clothes right and then second tip I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that I already mentioned again is to know your modest measurements right so yeah for example if your waist size is 32 inches like that's the exact measurement right you do want to opt for something that gives you like four or five inches of material it just depends on you honestly you need to like go home look at your wardrobe look at your closet find out which is your favorite dress everyone has a dress or a shirt that fits them perfectly has the perfect modest fit so what you need to do is take out your measuring tape and uh, compare the measurements of that garment with the measurements of your actual body so that way you can get an idea of um, how much extra material you want to sit around your body so that you have like that perfect modest fit it's gonna give you all the information you need to make sure that when the actual item comes in the mail you know it's gonna fit you okay so the next tip I'm gonna be sharing with you guys and this is very important is to make sure to read the descriptions the listings so let's say you're shopping on eBay I do a lot of thrift store shopping on eBay it is very important to make note of all the information that they give you on the page on the listing page right sometimes they'll put in oh maybe that the item is damaged a little bit uh, maybe it has a hole or whatever you need to make sure you study the pictures make sure um, like I know for jeans a lot of the um, bottom hems of jeans tend to wear down over time so if you want something that looks really nice like pretty much new make sure to look at that right make sure you study the product images sometimes the images that people provide are not very clear they're a little blurry so feel free to ask questions just like do whatever you can to make sure that you really know what you're purchasing because the last thing you want is to have something arrive have it fit you perfectly and then you realize that like the armpit has a hole or whatever so yes it's gonna save you so much time and hassle in the long run right Okay, so the next tip I'm going to be sharing with you guys is to know your favorite brands. Now, what I mean by this is that everyone has their favorite store, right? For me personally, um, I love J. Jill and I love Gap because they sell a lot of items that uh, are pretty much considered modest. And yes, they tend to be on the pricier side. It's not really something that is within my budget, but I know that if I'm thrift store shopping, I can get their clothes for a lot less and I can still get like that same quality basically so this is actually an example of a j jill dress that i own super long beautiful shirt dress 100 percent silk now something like this would easily retail for like 120 bucks okay and uh, i actually bought this for like 30 dollars so um, if you know what brands you like use that to help you search for the dress or the top the tunic whatever it is that you're purchasing use that information to help you filter and find what it is that you're looking for right so for example if I'm looking for a dress for me I'll probably put J Jill dress XL right because I'm extra large size I tend to go for the larger sizes so that is something that will give me 
basically all the results that I need. So that way I can save a lot of time because a lot of the stuff that is online, it is tight. It is, you know, filled with random holes, cutouts, mesh detailing, see-through materials, all that stuff that we don't, we're not looking for, obviously. So that is just an example. So these are some pants that I got. These are jogger pants that I purchased from Gap. Again, like I know that if I, like let's say I'm looking for jogger pants and I know that Gap makes jogger pants like every season, right? I'll put in Gap jogger pants and then whatever size I'm wearing, right? You'll be surprised at like how many new or like barely worn items you can find for a fraction of the price. It's like a win-win situation because you look great, you're wearing something that's well-made, but at the same time, like you're helping the environment and you're saving money. So it's a win-win situation. All right, that concludes this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. For those of you who are like regular online thrift store shoppers, make sure to leave your tips down below if I haven't said anything, if you felt like I left something out. If you like this video, make sure to like. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It would help me out to grow my channel and make more of these types of videos. If you have any favorite brands that, um, sell modest clothes or like somewhat modest clothes feel free to leave that in the comment section as well i would love to see your suggestions i look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and i'll see you guys next time assalamualaikum bye